Hey guys. So there's this drunk bitch that's backing up right next to me. You can tell that she's really drunk just by how she's driving and also because she uh, knocked an entire table of plates over. She fell back into it. There's this whole group of middle-aged bitches. Who are like being all handsy with all the servers. You see, feminists, it's not just women that get mistreated. I mean, seriously, there were like multiple servers that said that they had their asses grabbed tonight. So. It's not just women. Uh. See, I don't know what makes anybody think that that behavior is acceptable. Man, woman, age 24, age 16, age 37, age 56. It's never acceptable to behave this way. It's never acceptable to grab somebody's ass, especially if that person is serving you food Especially if that person is providing any sort of service whatsoever. Now, of course, these servers, you know, they wanted a good tip. And these bitches are drunk as fuck, so, you know, they probably did tip them pretty good. But if you think this sexual harassment is just a thing that women experience, I mean, you are very flawed in your worldview, my friend. Just kidding, you ain't my fucking friend. You'd accuse me of something, wouldn't you? Ugh, so. You know, I'm meeting women, like, every day. Not just, like, women that hate feminism, but, like, women that, like, just can't stand women. I mean, I was taking a piss today at my job, and there was this group of girls that came in. Oh my God, were they obnoxious. Like, Jesus Christ. I kept questioning if I have a vagina. Because like, I don't behave that way. And I know that there are plenty of women that don't behave that way. You know, they don't talk like this. They get really excited about somebody's shoes. Oh my God. Check out this nail polish girl. It's so awesome. Oh my God. Why do they talk in that voice? Jesus. You're so annoying. See why like people like me, they don't care about women's rights? It's like I would give anything to punch those women in the face. Since they want equality, we should be allowed to do that, right? 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 <laughs> I'm just saying. Quality doesn't mean anything anyway. I mean, it doesn't mean anything when they can't figure out the goddamn definition. <laughs> it's like a definition that just keeps changing. So, it's like if if you're mad, if you're mad about how somebody treats you, well, that means that things are equal. Well, does it, or does it mean that like that person was just an asshole that mistreated you? You know, because you're not going to stop that shit. Hate to break it to you. Hate to burst that bubble. I know it's a mighty large bubble for you. Like, it reminds me of, uh... You know, like, whenever you're blowing a bubble, like, a, with bubble gum, like actual literal bubble gum, and you get it all over your face? Holy shit, y'all. I'm going to put this camera down. Cause I see a fucking police officer up there thinking he's real fucking cool. I don't know why he thinks that. Who does he think he's gonna get? You. <laughs> totally me. It's totally gonna be me. <laughs> Hold 
up, hold up, hold up. Okay. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> No, I saw this cop, and I'm sure he would have pulled me over if he saw me with this camera. Because he was like, what is she doing? You know, there are cops fucking everywhere. It's retarded. See why I'm a libertarian? We don't believe in the militarization of the police department, you guys. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I will never rant and rave enough about authority figures and how much they take advantage. But the thing is, it's not really their fault, it's, it's the government's fault. And it's not really the government's fault as much as it is uh, all of the citizens' fault for like voting for this shit, you know? And not saying anything about it and not doing anything about it and just like going along with it. So really, it's a very widespread problem that we really can't eradicate at this point because it's gotten to uh, the point where like it's it's just totally out of control, you know? But anyway, I don't even know what I was talking about before I saw that motherfucking pig. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, you work for the fucking government. You're a fucking garbage person. Anyway, <laughs> look, not all people that work for the government are garbage people, but this government's fucking garbage, okay? So, I would say that it's real hard to work for such a garbage establishment and not become a garbage person. Now, there are some people in the government that try to do good because they know how corrupt it is. They want to be like that one person. That one person that, that does the right thing. That one person that, that tries to help people. Good on you for that shit, but good luck. It's like this whole thing with like, you know, they, they think it's like a bad apple, you know, a crapple. Like they think it, it's just like one thing, like one piece of rotten fruit. But no, it's the motherfucking tree. It's, it's not just the branch, it's like the whole fucking root. And if you don't pull up the root, you're just gonna keep getting a bunch of crapples. You know? You don't know. So, I think I was bitching about women. Go figure. But no, women are just fucking annoying. And they're stupid and they're not funny. Like, they laugh at things that aren't funny. Like, I don't know if you've ever been around a woman that, like, you say something and it's not funny, but she laughs. And you're just like, why the fuck did that bitch just laugh? You're like, oh yeah, because she's a woman, and that vagina just makes her retarded. Um, but yeah, it's like, I meet women all the time, they love this sexist stuff that I say, because they agree with it. And then like, men, they agree with it too, but they feel bad for laughing. Like there's this guilt for being sexist. Now, we should also make fun of men that are really stupid, you know? Like these, these meatheads, and dudes that to take a, a can of beer and like smash it against their forehead. Yeah, we should totally make fun of that because that's fucking dumb, right? It's dumb. But... It's kind of silly. Like, people want to say that's sexist or you're a misogynist. I don't hate women, I just don't like them. They're fucking annoying, and, like, I know that I'm annoying, but I'm annoying because I'm just always talking. But don't think I don't know that I'm always talking. I hear myself talking nonstop, and it's fucking obnoxious. I wish I could shut up. I would shut up if I could. Trust me. I do not have the ability. Every once in a while, I'll be real quiet. People will be like, what's wrong? <laughs> like, I just want to be quiet. That's all. And the thing is, I'm quiet around other people. Unless they ask me if I take psychiatric drugs, then they get a fucking seminar. Or, like, 
they ask me, well, usually, typically people don't ask me about politics. I'm the one that always brings up that conversation. But uh, I like to talk about stuff that's controversial. Mainly because I like to learn. I don't want to just provoke people. I'm not trying to show people up. I just like talking about controversial subject matter. Because it's fun. And the more different perspectives you get, the better. Because then your your own perspective is more diverse because you get like a more well-rounded education on the way the things really are. You don't have to stare at me, you stupid bitch. Jesus Christ, with your fucking... earlobes hanging out and your fucking chin. Jesus Christ. Yeah, why do people do that? I will never fucking understand that shit. Like, I'm gonna pierce my ears and then put fucking corkscrews in them or whatever the fuck. Why would you do that to yourself? Like, you just look so fucking stupid. And it's it kind of like... It's almost offensive because, like, people in Africa do that shit. And so I don't know if it's, like, an extension of, like, like Rastafarian culture. But it's always white people. Like, I've never seen a single black person in America with their fucking ears. With, God, you know, you have those, like, giant... Whatever the fuck. I don't even know what they're called. What are those things called? And I know what you're thinking. Vortex. Man, you're judgmental. Yes, I am. This culture is so stupid. Why do people do this shit to themselves? Jesus Christ. Just like getting a tribal tattoo. You know? It's just so stupid. I just saw that motherfucker kiss his girlfriend twice. So I'm like, that's sweet. I mean, maybe he's a really nice guy and you're being such a cunt. You're being such a cunt because you don't understand his, um, his style. His really unique, authentic style. <laughs> God. It's just so annoying. It's just, I feel like so many people, they just, they just do stuff because everybody else is doing that stuff. You know? Like, I'm gonna get a tattoo. He has a tattoo. She has a tattoo. I want a tattoo. Hey. They have this piece of technology. I'm going to get that piece of technology. Because that's cool. That's really cool. You don't even think it's cool. You're just doing it because that's what everybody else is doing. It's not actually cool. Like, there's nothing cool about any of this crap. Anyway, I'm going to go. Bye. <laughs> really? Bye.